In this video, I am going to show you how the disc brake apparatus works. In this equipment, a brake disc is mounted vertically as you can see. This circular round plate is the brake disc. This disc is made up of stainless steel material. Now at the center of this disc, a shaft runs through it. Uh, these black spots, these two spots hold the center shaft which holds the brake disc. At the one end of this shaft, a pulley has been attached. This uh, cord is wrapped around this pulley. This white cord is wrapped around uh, this pulley uh, and the uh, one end of this uh, cord is attached with load hanger as you can see uh, the rotational movement rotational angle of the movement of the disc wheel can be viewed using this external protector two bell crank levers are mounted on either sides of the brake disc this is the uh, left bell crank lever this is the left bell crank lever and this is the right uh, bell crank lever at the end of these bell crank levers this is the end of the bell crank lever uh, brake pad uh, 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 where load hanger has been attached at the other end of the bell crank lever uh, a brake pads these are these are the brake pads brake pads has been attached different brake pads has been supplied with this equipment these are the brake pads and these are the load hangers which are supplied with this equipment this is the brass brake pad this is the polypropylene brake pad this brake pad uh, is made up of material which can be used in motorcycle brake pads the fourth one has been installed on the equipment as you can see this brake pad is made up of aluminium now coming to the bottom this is the load hanger when we apply uh, load to this load hanger it tends to rotate the uh, it tends to rotate the left brake pad in anti clockwise direction and the right brake pad in clockwise direction due to this movement of these bell crank levers uh, these brake these brake pads tries to stop the uh, brake disc and the brake will be applied with the help of this load and this pulley load uh, parameters of braking force braking torque and normal force can be assessed thank you very much